Hi everyone, so painted up another four artillery pieces for the Russian army in the Crimean War. Um, if you saw the previous video on the Don Cossacks, these, these are the regular infantry or, or regular artillery um, in Farashkas and uh, came down on the side of painting them dark green rather than the grey-brown that uh, Robert Wilkinson Latham says they should have been. Um, just about every other source that I can find and every other image has them as dark green so I think that's just a mistake. Um, so I settled that problem in the end. Um, purchased um, two different artillery pieces this time. The ones on the outside are the six pounders that the Don Cossacks have as well. The ones in the middle are howitzers. I uh, just thought to make a little bit of variety but they're on the same uh, gun carriage. It's just the barrel that's different so um, they look pretty similar uh, from a distance. And um, I think I've resolved now what to do about limbers. Um, as John Rode pointed out, the Blue Moon figures are fairly similar in size and I can make use of their Napoleonic limbers for the British Army and the, uh, the Russian Army um, because they're, the horses come with detached riders so I can just have them as uh, riderless horses and ignore the Napoleonic figures um, and that will be a solution to that problem. My next issue now is um, base sizing which is <laughs> causing me a little bit of a headache. Um, as you may recall I'm basing these figures up for a set of rules called Age of Valor um, which I thought was the same basing size as Fire and Fury. Um, it was giving me a little bit of a problem in that these are 18mm figures rather than 15mm and it, the base, it was a bit tight to get the figures on the bases and in fact with one of these uh, pieces I had to um, detach one of the figures again and put him back a little bit further back in order to get the width of the the gun in between the two figures um, and now having done that I'm finding that um, the basing for Age of Valor seems to vary depending on the conflict um, which is annoying because I haven't yet the, the rules aren't in hard copy they're you purchase them and they're downloadable uh, and I thought I would download them, purchase them and download them once I'd completed my two armies. So I was merrily basing away um, using Fire and Fury um, and the artillery for that is an inch wide by, I think it's an inch and a, inch and a half deep and um, then I was talking to a friend of mine about um, siege artillery, come on to that subject in a moment, um, but that quite simply won't fit onto um, that base size. So I was, he's, he's a bit of an expert in Fire and Fury and um, Age of Eagles, which, which is the Napoleonic version, and it was him that put me on to Age of Valor. So I was saying to him, well, what size bases do siege guns go on and he didn't know because he, he doesn't play any of the periods where siege guns are incorporated into the rules. Um, so he suggested I look at their Balkan Wars basing system and for that they use an inch and a quarter wide so it's slightly wider but only an inch deep and if you look at, turn these around If you look at the depth, there is barely room for a gun to go, a, a, even a small gun to go on an inch and a half deep. So I just don't understand that at all. Even in 15mm, I don't see how you could fit a, an artillery piece on that. So whether that's yet another error, I don't know. So um, 
what I've decided to do is to carry on using the Fire and Fury base sizes to put my siege guns on slightly um, larger bases just to accommodate them when I get them and um, probably I'm going to play black powder using them. The, my, my idea was that I, the black powder is going to be my pref rules, go to rules, but uh, I thought as black powder is fairly flexible in the base sizing you can use, I would use another set of rules um, base sizes and then I've got, I've got a choice of which set of rules I use. So Age of Valor is still on the cards, but black powder is going to be my preference. And then on the subject of siege guns, I, I get back to this problem now of finding ranges that are compatible with this um, slightly unique Eureka scale of 18 millimeter. And um, I'm investigating various approaches to that. I've, I've purchased some Strelitz figures, but they are much bigger than this. I've got, I'll show those to you on another video um, in the not too distant future. Uh, they are much bigger, um, so they don't look right. Um, so what I've done now is ordered some um, Freycore 15mm um, heavy artillery and siege weapons from the American Civil War range. And they have some um, sort of uh, older guns in their range so from the 1840s so that they would be the right date for the Crimean War which was in the 1850s and uh, I'll use those probably with these figures um, do you then have the problem that these figures are um, equipped with things like the uh, the canister or whatever it is the the the, the, the He's not holding a missile of the appropriate size, um, but uh, they'll do for that. Um, they haven't arrived yet. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you my final result in the saga of my uh, Russian artillery. And I, I've also purchased and it's arrived some um, British artillery now, so I'm going to go back to painting British figures. Thanks very much for watching everyone. See you on the next video. Bye for now.